Okay, today we're gonna do a review on baffle boxes. So I have four different kinds. First one is an older P40 baffle. Okay, then we have the AP slash Ace Point baffle box. Then we have the Backgammon Studios baffle box. And we have the another, uh, I don't know if this is available on uh, Ace Point yet, but this is a Cat Gammon Baffle Box R2 model, which it means it's a two piece. Okay. Uh, positive and negative on each one. All right, first, uh, right off the bat, this P40. Positives, it's lightweight. It's basically just one piece. Goes into and fits inside the board. Okay. Uh, pretty much fits any board. Okay. Uh, the dice do not bounce out. Okay, these are the small dice. Okay. Medium size. Okay. Large size dice. Okay. It's more on the quiet side. It's not too loud. As you can see, the dice do not bounce out. Okay, so those are the positives. Negatives. This type of plastic is very fragile, so if you drop this baffle, more than likely you're going to suffer some damage. So that happened to me once, and one of these little spinny things uh, broke. Uh, it's this one right here, and I had to glue the little piece back on. And, you know, it's kind of loose. You know, some of these are looser than others. They're hollow. So to me, the plastic is very fragile. Also, one other issue I had with this one, this was a brand new one, is sometimes you get some that are don't have this little plastic part at the bottom or it's kind of flat, so it, it's kind of loose. So what I had to do is put super glue down here on both sides so it makes so it makes a tighter fit when I close it. Um, other than that, those are you know two huge negatives to me because if you drop it once, it's gonna bound to happen and you're gonna suffer, you know, it's gonna break. Uh, so this used to be my favorite. Uh, until that happened, and I noticed compared to others, the plastic is very weak. Okay, uh, like I said, this is a P40 model. I don't know, I think you can still get them. Uh, they're about these are all relatively the same price. I think this was a well, I got this one for free. Somebody gave it to me that didn't want to use a baffle, but I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks. Okay, next up is the AP, or you can also get it from Cat Gammon. Baffle, these run 60 bucks. It's a three piece magnetic model. Okay, obviously fits inside your board. Uh, positives, it's, it's light. Um, it's aesthetically pretty nice looking baffle. Um, fits pretty much any board. It also comes with a optional metal stand that goes under here. Um, I don't think, okay, let me bring it real fast, I guess, so you guys can see. All right, comes with this metal stand right here, and in case you don't have a board that will support it, you put it underneath here, and you stick it underneath the board, and 
you know, you have yourself a metals uh, stand. Uh, some things, I used to have two more of these. I used to have uh, a silver, or I guess just two then. Well, I used to have a silver one I gave away. Uh, sometimes you have to put the magnetic on top like this as opposed to at the bottom. And, you know, it depends how your the magnets were installed. So if you go like this, you know, you're going to find out that the at the bottom of this one, the, you know, it's pretty weak. So you have to go up on top. Not a big deal, I guess. I'm um, pretty sure you've seen these on streams and... The only big positive is that it's lightweight and that they're quiet. Those are the only positives with this baffle. And I know Carol Joy Coy has stopped selling these because of the negatives. So the negatives are, these are small dice, that, they're, that this uh, baffle is very bouncy. Okay, sometimes people have different tendencies of putting in the, the dice and they tend to bounce out. Okay, not so much with, I guess, the smaller ones. Okay. But from what I could tell, the angle of this first baffle is kind of flat. So sometimes when people throw the dice in carelessly, it'll slide out or bounce out. Okay, these are the medium sized dice. You can see it's pretty quiet. See, there you go, there's the first bounce out. Okay. And, you know, some people go like this and just toss them in like that. Okay, there's another bounce out. So that's in relatively, what, 12 to 15 shakes, two times dice have bounced out. So, here's a bigger size. Some people want to like throw them in a rough, in a rougher manner, so they, they'll bounce out even more. See, like that one, that one's another invalid roll. So that's the only, and it's a big negative because you know, out of twenty, you know, tosses, you're gonna get about two that are no good. So over time, you know, it kind of becomes annoying. Um, also, it's recently found out that these are also very fragile. I had a friend who uses one at our club and somebody dropped it, ended up shattering the baffles, uh, this crack. I also have another friend who has a AP and it's, I don't know if it was shipped that way or she didn't really take care of her baffle, but it was cracked. So not very durable. Uh, they look good, you know, it's nice very easy to put together but they're just too bouncy and if you use a metal stand you know they shake you know it becomes wobbly so that makes uh, the dice jump out even with a more uh, frequency so I'm gonna end up selling this one um, today that's why I'm making this video because I'm selling it today so getting rid of it all right now the next two this is these two are my favorite two baffles so far. Okay, they're a little on the heavier side than the other two, but they're very well made. Okay, the first one is the Cat Gammon R2 model. I'm not sure how long this one has been around, but very impressed. It's, you know, you can tell it's not going to fall apart easily. It could take a few hits and it's not going to fall apart. And it's also very portable you know two piece it'll fit inside your board um, the baffles are very well constructed you know they don't move around like the earlier p40 model um, okay let's test it out it's relatively quiet it's not too loud okay guys come out nice and clean nice and fast okay medium size dice you know you can throw them in a little rough you know you're not gonna get a it's not gonna bounce out okay that one bounced out but i threw it relatively hard but 
Okay, that one bounced out again. So I guess you gotta be sort of careful, but you know, you know pretty sturdy. Large size dice. Okay. Oops, that was invalid. Alright, so. R2 model, two piece from Cat Gamut. Not sure if you get it from AP yet. Okay, and tied also. For my favorite is the Backgammon Studios Baffle. Okay, this one's a smaller version than that. They, they used to have a bigger version, but I now think it slimmed it down uh, about a half an inch smaller all around. And I used to think it wasn't a good baffle just because it's the one negative is it's louder than any one of these. But other than that, it's a very nice baffle, okay? This one you'll hardly ever see dice jump out because the baffles are about a half an inch to an inch, or about an inch lower than the uh, when you throw in the dice. So it's going to be pretty hard for the dice to come back out, okay? You can see it's pretty loud but to me that's not that bad another uh, positive I don't know if you guys have noticed but these this baffle spits out the dice a little faster than the other ones you know so in one of my videos I had a ZZ versus Rory um, and then Steve Sachs also played a hyper speed match with this one and they chose to go with this baffle you know because it was just so fast you know boom dice get spit out Medium. You know I'm doing. You know, trying to purposely make the dice jump out, and it won't. So, you know, you could throw. I haven't. The only issue, maybe like one in a thousand throws, just because I was outdoors and the board was in a bit of an angle. Uh, one of the dice didn't come out all the way. Kind of like that, just because it was an angle. But other than that, if you're in a flat surface, you know, you're not gonna have any issues with this towel. Um, I got a good deal on this one in Vegas. I got it for twenty dollars. I know they run for sixty, and they're currently out of stock. But they also have little legs that attach here uh, to, uh, you know, get a sturdier, uh, you know, fit on your board. But I mean, I haven't had an issue with the unless somebody tips it over, you know. It's not going to move much. So, if you get your hands on one of these, I would go with one of these as if you had, if you, uh, had to choose one baffle. Okay. And finally, the large size. Okay. I think the bigger dice you go, the more louder it is. Just notice that. I'll, let's see. Yeah, I guess smaller the dice, quieter it is. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and write them down. I'll try to answer them um, as far as baffle boxes. Uh, again, this is my number one Backgammon Studios two-piece. Okay, Sturdy. Uh, pretty much fits any board. Uh, only real negative is it's a little louder than the other ones. See, these are these individual thingamajiggers are screwed on, you know. So if you drop it, you know it's gonna they're not gonna move. Um, so this is number one. Number two would be the again two piece R two model come in three different colors this one only comes in clear so this one comes in black gold and silver number two uh number three would be jeez, 
I guess if I had to choose between this AP and this P40, I would go with the P40, as long as you're very careful with it um, and don't drop it, you know. And then finally, my least favorite is this AP or slash cat gammon um, valve. All right. Okay, one thing I noticed that this isn't a Backgammon Studios baffle, it's actually Backgammon Learning Center as it is engraved. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there, I think. Let me try and focus. Backgammon Learning Center dot com. So apologies for that. Backgammon Learning Center. Might as well give you close up of all the uh, baffles okay this is my favorite number one number two okay number three p40 And least is the AP slash cat gammon.